Let's bring back in the think tank civil rights attorney Joseph Lowe and criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Sarah Flack. And joining us from Denver, Colorado, trial attorney and civil attorney Brittany Kaiser having a bit of technical troubles, but glad we got you on. Let's start with you then, Brittany. Um, she comes a knocking at your door. Casey Anthony saying, hey, I got some services here. Uh, hire me. What well, would do you? I obviously would not, and I think she's going to have a lot of trouble marketing herself. Uh, now, the question is really whether there, uh, whether this is legal or not. Um, should she be granted a license? Should she be able to market her services in this way? I would suppose that she shouldn't be able to, but um, whether or not that's granted uh, is still yet to be seen. Now, Joseph Flo, you have a struggling practice, right? And you're, you're looking for business any way you can get it. Again, you, she comes a call and you say yes? Well, I don't have a struggling practice, but if you mean the general person... Oh, it's uh, completely hypothetical, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. So here's the situation. A court case is about the person who is the most credible. He or she who has the most credibility will usually win the case. Credibility is your ability to go out and find the truth and bring it into the courtroom. And oftentimes, using an investigator will have to put that person's credibility online because they, in the investigation, become an actual witness. How could anybody in good faith who is defending someone, say, accused of a serious crime or even in a civil case with catastrophic injury, put somebody on the stand where you have asked them to do an investigation that will require them to use their own personal credibility to ensure that the fact they're bringing to the jury is true, use somebody with her background, someone who's been convicted of telling lies, somebody who's been accused of what they have. It's too much drama. And in my opinion, you are doing a disservice to your client by using somebody like that. You heard one lawyer say, well, she could bring in a lot of cases as a rainmaker. Yeah, that's not the point. You want a rainmaker, hire a marketer. She's an investigator. Your clients deserve better. Now, Sarah Flack, one of the things that I think uh, she had been doing or has done in the past is she was this social media investigator. We talked a little bit earlier about how important that is and how much it's like a gold mine for, for a lot of attorneys. Um, is that a service that you might feel comfortable hiring her for, provided that she has the skill set and is someone who's good at it, can be very valuable to your practice? Absolutely. You know, I, I think in, I can't sit here in good faith and, and say that I wouldn't hire Casey Anthony if she was qualified. I mean, we as defense attorneys spend our lives telling judges in courtrooms that people are presumed innocent until proven guilty. And furthermore, um, you know, I spend much of my job convincing prosecutors and, and judges, look, somebody made a really bad choice. Why are we, you know, 10, 15 years later, if they have devoted their life to being better and they are not the same person they were uh, 15 years ago, why does she not at least deserve an interview and a fair chance. That's what we have law and order for. That's what we have the system for. Um, so I don't know that it's fair or just, you know, to, to say Casey Anthony should never have a job. She should never, um, you know, work in this field. In fact, she might be one of the most qualified people. Um, she definitely has a, a, an intimacy of the, of the criminal justice system in a way that none of us do here on Court TV today. And I think she should be given a fair shot, just like all of my clients, if she proves herself and if she is qualified for the job, absolutely. Yes, yeah, certainly, Brittany Kaiser, that, that's a selling point, the idea that she's been very much involved, uh, intimately involved with the criminal justice system. Uh, she does, if she does possess the skill set, um, everyone deserves a second chance, but she can't run away from the fact that she was convicted of felonies and felonies that involve moral turpitude. So does she even get a license in this case? Will she be able to do anything at all? Well, I think the main issue is that in her own case, uh, she was accused of misleading the court and misleading investigators. So I, I think that definitely calls into question her integrity if she is trying to become an investigator herself, that she did not uphold those standards when she was being investigated. Now, Joseph Lowe, we, we heard the fact that she has been doing some of this type of work for McKenna, who has a pretty good reputation. One would think that someone with that reputation wouldn't want to jeopardize it by having someone like that do the work. Um, do you think it's in, on some level, can you find any reason at all why it would work or why it would be uh, prudent to hire someone like Casey Anthony? 
Yes, I agree. In fact, it's with what Sarah had to say, and that is if Casey is passionate, if she is committed to her clients, if she is a person who is relentless and digging for truth that evades most of the routine people who just do the routine job, well, then she's absolutely very useful. It's just limited because she, in my opinion, won't be able to go to the stand. But there are processes in place for the business where they could hand that off to somebody else or only have her do investigations that wouldn't require her to testify. I see that as her only limitation. But there is plenty of other things in the field that she could do and do very well. So I believe she should be given the chance to redeem herself and to either make up for things or to prove that she too has value, just like everybody else does. I agree with you on that, sir. Yeah, agreed, no doubt. I think you give her the opportunity to work on things, keep her isolated away from uh, ever having to appear in court, and you may have someone there who can uh, help you out. Help you out. All right, guys, stay.